Hello dear worship ministers, happy Sunday and happy new month. How was service today? All right, so today we're looking at spiritual weight loss. We have looked at spiritual weight gain. So we want to look at spiritual weight loss. You know, we need, the, the ship needs water to move, to be able to perform to the capacity it has been built for, to the purpose for which it has been built. And also it takes that water to enter the ship and sink the ship. So even though we are in this world, we're in an environment we find ourselves today. But we also need to be careful so that we don't allow certain things happening in our environment to enter into us that will sink us or make us to lose weight spiritually, losing spiritual relevance or spiritual strength. As we carry weights to lose weight, there are certain physical weights that if we carry them, certain burdens, certain things that if we carry them, we will lose weight spiritually. So spiritual weight loss takes place when one becomes entangled with desires, cares of the world, and conforming to the patterns of one's environment, and then leading one away from God. Instead of engaging in activities that will lead us to God, to knowing God more, to intimacy with God, but this physical weight, these things will make us you know, lose weight spiritually and leading us away from God. Romans 12, 2 say, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So worldly desires can be in the form of in pursuit uh, of material wealth, seeking status and recognition, seeking validation and approval from, from men, indulging in pleasures that lead to sin, the craving for power and influence, seeking self-will, above God's will, pay more attention on the physical appearance than the inner beauty. Why a minister is more focused on, oh, what am I going to put on? What makeup, what makeup am I going to wear? What kind of hairstyle am I going to, you know, put on? More than focusing on praying and asking God, God, concerning this ministration, concerning this program, what is your body? What is in your mind? How am I going to align myself to be able to carry out your message? We, 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 we don't focus on the thing. Yes, it's good to look beautiful. But if that is not taking priority, the preparation of the outward appearance more than the inward preparation, it's dangerous for us as ministers. First John chapter 2, verse 16. For everything in the world, the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. So let us lay down that weight that would not make us run well. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1. So we have learned about many people who trusted God long ago. They are like a very big crowd all around us and we should copy their example. We must be like people who run in a race. We must throw away everything that stops us from running well. The things that we do make us fall down very easily. The things that we do make us fall down very easily. We must not let those things rule us. God has prepared the way that is in front of us. We must continue to be strong while we run along the way. We must choose to run that race well. It is essential for us to guard our heart and continuously feed on the word of God to prevent any and every form of spiritual weight loss. And maintaining a strong relationship with God. Psalm 119 verse 11, the easy version says, I always keep your message in my mind so that I do not do anything bad against you. King James says, your word have I eat in my heart that I may not sin against you. My brothers and my sisters, it is good for us to keep the word of God in our heart, to prevent us from weight loss, to prevent us from sinning, to prevent us from things that will lead us away from God. But if we don't keep the word of God in our heart, sin will keep the word of God away from our heart. We must beware of spiritual weight loss. God will help us that we must continue to feed on the word of God, that the word of God may dwell richly in our heart and that will establish our dominion over circumstance that could bring about weight loss. So to come in our next um, chat and next chat up, just have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead and enjoy this month of November. It's our season of rejoicing. God bless you and have a fantastic week ahead. God bless you. Bye.